This week on Byron to Bordeaux, Richard dives headfirst into our electrical upgrade. We've got a plan that starts in the attic and miraculously wires its way down to the first four rooms. Join us as we explore a delightful boutique winery in Fronzac that comes highly recommended. Morning, everyone. So what we're going to talk about today is electrical, which is mainly what I'll be talking about. Um, and current, we're currently in the attic. Um, so what we've got here, this is the attic switchboard, and this is that's all it'll be supplying, everything in the attic only. Um, some people do in uh, one switchboard, which supplies the whole house, but on this particular case, I'm going to have one for the one switchboard for the attic, one switchboard for the first floor, one switchboard for the ground floor, and there'll be a couple others for the outbuildings. Go down to the floor here. That is going to be a cable way. So you have to drill the hole there, and that's for cable yeah. cabling going into the ceiling space of um, the first floor. Mm -hmm. And it also will be uh, if we need to get power. So just turn around to behind you. If we need to get power through the floorboards into all the various rooms on this floor. What we've also done here is we've started to rip up floorboards. And what we'll be doing, we'll do minimal amount because we're going to have a pathway. So the bearers go, it's like, the bearers go from this direction here. Well, it doesn't matter, east to west. And we'll be drilling holes through the floor bearers, the floor joists. Depends on how many need. Through there, through there, through there, all the way, that direction, and we'll be teeing off whether for lighting or power. So just to have a look here. This is the old style um, plaster ceiling instead of plasterboard, or I think in America they call it drywall and whatever. Uh, sorry, the new style. The old style is this. Um, it's timber slats, and they just put plaster in between, and it's very fragile. And so, in other words, to, because of this. You find that most of these um, older buildings and that the ceiling will never be completely flush, but if you use uh, plasterboard, you can get that nice smooth finish. Whereas these, you'll never ever get a smooth finish, and yeah, it'll be very difficult anyway. So basically, we've already done a couple of holes through the floor here. Um, you'll see there. So that's a hole. That's just give us an idea where we've got to go with our cabling. And eventually you'll be putting these floorboards back on top. So on this area there, you've got, oh yeah, I'll just show you also. This is the old style conduit work they've used here. That's aluminium. I shouldn't even be touching it. I don't know. It doesn't have an earth wire in it, which, you know, potentially dangerous. So this will be all obsolete. We'll be running a new cabling system, which is, I call it corrugated conduit, but in France they call it gain. So it's basically just the same sort of thing, larger diameter and your building wire that goes through it to all the different light holes. So that's, we're just come bringing, uh, um, drilling holes straight through this so we know where we're going to mm -hmm. from below. So it's about, um, oh, one, two, three, about eight or nine holes. So we're pre-working out our, our path, cable pathway. So we're still still in um, the attic, and this is uh, directly above the, um, which will, I think be a potential chandelier in on the first floor um, room of the Bridget Bardot room. So we've just drilled, this is the centre line. So basically this, this hole here and the EP room, those are the exact centre holes, and that's where the we're going to put in a fixing of some sort we haven't worked out what it is yet. It might be a rod or something. It's for the um, chandeliers, potential chandeliers. So that will be, we'll lift up these floorboards here and we'll be put a um, a noggin in between. I think that the bed bearers go that way and we'll be putting a noggin in that way and we'll put a, a rod or something through it and that will support, you know, a chandelier of whatever size and it won't fall through. And then obviously we'll be poking the cable down, you know, somewhere beside it and we'll be lifting 
see these floorboards, they're tongue and groove, which is going to be a real pain in the backside, but we're going to be lifting up minimal we can, because I think they run, yeah, this way. So we might have to run. We'll see how we go, what we're going to do. And I think that's about it. And so let's head on downstairs and we'll have a look at some of these rooms from below. Okay, so we're now in the BB room and above my head here is where we're going to hang the chandelier and you can see above me is the crypt X marks the spot of where the centre of the room is. Um, and as I said to you before, upstairs in the attic. So we're now on the level, level one floor. Uh, we'll be running a venture cable to here and then we'll be going in the, in the ceiling above. We'll be running a, a cable down to the switch on the wall here behind you. Okay. I'll just turn some lights on so you can see that. So, just, so in, up on the ceiling here, there's your EP room, same thing. We'll be poking a cable out and a, and a bit of a rod probably. So the cable will be sitting probably roughly where that um, bayonet light is hanging right now. And there'll be some sort of fixing that'll be just recessed in the ceiling or just hanging out the ceiling so you hook on to the, if it's chandelier, that's what I'm going to do. So that's the EP room. So we're now in the, I would call it the master ensuite for the BB room. We uh, have taken down as an old fluorescent light. Oh, shame that had to go, honey. Yeah. And then we're going to, because it's a wet area, we've decided that we don't want to um, put a dim, I was thinking about chandelier, but it's going to be too damp in here, so we're going to go for three down lights, we'll keep them relatively small. Even though it's a high ceiling, I think three, if it was a lower ceiling, three down lights would um, okay. be very bright in here. So, so we, that's the holes that you've got up there? Yeah, the they'll, be eventually, they'll be 60 mil uh, down lights, so one, two, three, and we'll be wiring them eventually. Um, and then if this is where the um, vanity is going, approximately we're gonna have two wall lights here. Yep. Or we'll be wiring them separate day, they won't affect what we're doing. We do need before. to measure it out for the plan to where the bath and the shower and everything yeah, goes. So that's what we put that on hold at the moment. Yeah. Okay. And there's also going to be PowerPoint there and also probably a, um, a heater tower as well. Correct. In there. But yeah, we haven't worked this room out yet, so we'll probably have to, lighting wise, we will probably have to figure it out fairly quickly because. And I'll probably need to know where this is going, how the lighting or lights, if it's here or is it going to be here or whatever. But that's another thing for another day. So let's, we're going to go back behind you and we're going to go in the corridor which goes in between the EP room and the BB room. And up here, where's the existing chandelier? We're not sure. I assume we're going to put another chandelier in Correct, this but it's going to need more support than that because that's only a very no, small... No, that's right. So above your head, is where the new spot or where the chandelier might go. Oh yeah. Um, and why did we choose that spot? Because see here, on your drawing, we're gonna have this, see this toilet here? Oh yeah, we're bringing the toilet forward. This toilet will go basically from here. Oh sorry, I'll get that right. The corridor was the, the front door for the new toilet. That toilet will move to here. So you've got the door for the toilet here. So then that will be the center. Yeah, that's basically, this chandelier is going to be the centre oh, from, okay. see where I am? Yeah. From here to the wall behind you. Yeah. And that will light up the corridor from here to here. So people will come around the corner, they'll go into that room, there'll be another door here. This door will open up like this. To the toilet. Yeah. yeah. And the toilet, I'll be sitting on the toilet basically <laughs> here. And Thanks for the uh, visual representation. Have, so presentation. This, this, this little doorway here will be moved, um, disappear, no, I'm sorry, it'll be moved forward to here, okay. right where I'm here, open like this, I walk in, I sit on the throne, toilet paper, and probably a vanity. Yes, oh, small, we don't know small vanity. A small vanity, probably here, because of the doors, yep, yeah. and here. This toilet, as I said, oh, it doesn't exist anymore, this will be a actual, a corridor for a, um, the EP room, 
the passageway, sorry, into the, um, the wet area. It'll have its own bathroom on that side of the wall. Oh yeah, this is, a, we're on the first floor. Um, box number two. This is box number two. And this will do all the electrical of lighting and power on this floor. So for lighting, we go up into the floor of the attic and through there and drop down for power, using most of the power points that which are down low. We, I don't know, come, come here beside the toilet, which won't exist eventually. See how we made a little hole there? Oh, yeah. They'll be going into the floorboards underneath there, so we'll rip up some of these floorboards. Yeah. And that's our access to, hopefully, everything. So it's not normal that you have a box in your toilet, <laughs> no. but it's just temporary until yeah. we move the toilet. And I hope all this pipe work, that's going to have to be moved somehow. Yeah. Well, That'll be another video. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to think about that one. Yeah. But this is going to, this has to stay where it is, unfortunately. Yeah. So this is going to have to move. Or maybe could have pushed this over to the left a bit, but. So on the left here, should mm -hmm. explain what's on the left behind you. Yeah. So this is um, like a built-in shelving for the EP room. So that'll be, it goes. So that'll eventually just, as I said, a wall, a uh, plaster wall, stub wall come across here and that'll be just an opening. And on this side here, we'll have from here to here roughly, I call it a cavity slider. So it'll be just a slider door that goes into the internal wall of um, the next room here, which will eventually be a wet area or bathroom, which is your shower, your toilet and your vanity. So basically the ensuite for en -suite, the EP, yeah. EP room. But that'll only come to, I'll probably come to here somewhere. So in French houses, they've got like a vanity and a, a bidet. A bidet inside the bedroom. Yeah, it's a bit. So I mean, it's interesting. This will become another ensuite. Mm. Uh, so we've already got plumbing here, but we will, yeah, minimise the size of this room mm. because on this wall here, this furthest wall to my right, mm. that's actually the stairwell. So you mm. can't go into that at all. So we are sort of sacrificing uh, a bedroom, but every bar, every bedroom needs a bathroom, I think. Mm. Mm. And this other toilet out here will be a toilet for everyone on this, on this floor. Yeah. I think it's a great plan.